if you're new here, I'm Ganitia, and if you're already watching my One Piece chill channel, welcome back. Today we are going to read the news, chapter of One Piece, number 1097. Oh, I'm a bit late, I didn't see it already came out, uh, but I'm so excited because I already saw the title of the chapter. By the way, yeah, of course, spoiler alert, if you are not up to date with manga, there are going to be spoilers for you, so please be careful, but with that said, let's read chapter 1097 of One Piece, let's go! Oh yes, yeah, so it is called Ginny, and this is so insane, because Ginny was kind of the reason this whole God Valley incident has happened and uh, we assume she might be Bonnie's mom as well and now we are at this point of the flashback where we see how Kuma and Ginny were chilling together living their lives uh, as best as they could and we have also a cover request that's kind of fitting Kuma catching Salman in a river and he looks still pretty young here so I assume this person here must be Ginny a bit grown up oh and he's just catching with his hands what is this interesting effect like a screen is loading <gasps> oh, oh is the is he also can he use his power somehow no he has to touch the uh, fish then you what just you just touch her and teleport her to the grill right away <laughs> anyways that is interesting let's read the chapter itself eight years after the god valley incident or 30 years ago kingdom of sorbet south blue days and months pass by so yeah they grow up they are kind of like as we saw them on this cover page please help me kumachi I've been coming here since your pa was around. It came as a nasty shock when you all went and disappeared on us. But it's comforting to know you grew into such a sweet boy. Your parents did a great job. I'm sure they're so proud of you becoming a bona fide clergyman. Yeah, and he was living in a church for a while, right? So he became a cl clergyman, how to say it. A pastor Bartolomeu Kuma, 17 years old. And he's using his ability on a granny somehow. Let's see. There are hardly any young ones left in this country these days. It's no wonder we are getting poorer and poorer. Ah, oh, what a relief. I feel so much better. Bless you. My, my next, my hips are killing me. Okay, so somehow through his powers he helps with some medical problems that people have and he became a pastor and yeah he's like the, the kuma we know the very sweet and nice and kind person like he was uh, described to us by people who know him not some horrible tyrant ki cruel king or anything like that we can't thank you enough. God bless your miracle hands. Can't you do this on weekdays too? And it kind of, I guess, works also. Uh, his ability with his place as a pastor now. Uh, because um, well, I'm not sure how it is in One Piece world. But I think there is this idea about like miracle hands especially. So the fact that this ability is kind of in his hand with the paw. Um, it works really well for his image maybe of a kind of holy miracle worker. You know <laughs> how to explain it. Fat chance. Sundays only. Where do you freeloading old bags get off asking for even more help? Ginny, 21 years old, actually has sister written on her top. So you could, well, you could see it two ways. It could be sister um, as in church, or like in the places like a monastery. Uh, they call each other sisters in like female monastery, for example. Uh, so I guess that could be it. You could also see, oh, maybe she has a role of more like Kuma's sister. Not a romantic interest, but I don't know about that. We'll see. Um, so she is trying to kind of keep this under control because Kuma would probably just say, oh, okay, I'll help you every single day from morning to night, etc., etc. Um, and she's kind of keeping it. <laughs> she's kind of keeping it under control. Ha ha ha! We've gotten the attention of little Miss Chips, Kate. Quit flapping your gums. This isn't an. Ah, she's saying, quit flapping your gums. This isn't a nursing home. I tell you to wash your mouth out if you want such a cutie pie. <laughs> 
priorities. <laughs> I heard there's no end to the number of suitors that come knocking on her door. She is very pretty and I like her hairstyle, it's really cool. And of course, as all One Piece women, she barely has any clothes on, so... <laughs> yeah, she looks very attractive. Uh, and yeah, so Puma is 17 and she's 21. I think she, she saw before that she's like four years old, right? Uh, none of them have a chance with Kumachi here. Just looking into that calm face of his is enough to comfort anyone. And Kuma is like, oh, you're the kind. You're the one who is the kind. And yeah, Jin is right. To tell the truth, we'd love to donate and support our Kumachi elders, I say. But we've all been struggling just to meet the Celestial Tribute recently. Oof, the Celestial Tribute, yeah, I remember about it. I'm sure you've heard about our new king, right? Oof, that's interesting. At the same time, yeah, they said we are getting poorer and poorer. Like, they don't even have any kind of money to pay to Kuma because they are struggling to pay that tribute to celestial dragon and if they fail to do it then it's gonna be hell right they say king bakori is a cold-hearted monster he is hell-bent on paying the tribute and he doesn't care about whether us old farts are to seek to contribute this is an actual like tyrant king right if we can't they will lock us up he's the worst the other day, an acquaintance of mine ended up starving to death in their cell. Like, but how does it help paying out the tribute if you just put people in prison where you... Well, they, they starve to death, so obviously they don't feed them for free. But still, where is the benefit in that if they just die in a cell? How do you get more money from that? This is not logical. Can you believe that? That miserly king of ours won't even feed his prisoners. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, right? If you put someone in prison, you kind of have to feed them for free also and stuff like that. But he thought about that. He was like, nah, no, I'm not feeding them for free. But yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, he's even more of a cheapskate than you, Jin. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's a pretty offensive comparison. <laughs> hey, <laughs> poor Jin. And we saw him in the previous frame and he was like very intimidating and scary. But in this frame he is like happy and shy. As if he is he, he is talking to a snail. Like is he sh just shown in a different light or is he listening to their conversation and he's like Oh, I'm even more of a cheapskate than someone else. That's such a nice compliment. Oh, like, how should I take this? Yet he's happy to bend over backwards for the celestial dragons. If we don't stay in good health, we are gonna get killed. I can get rid of any pain or mild illness you need me to, Kumai Seng, so please visit every week. Thanks so much, Kumachi. Yeah, so it's also kind of like, they. of course they don't want to anything to hurt they want to be healthy but there's also this thought oh kuma you will help us feel better so we can go and like earn some money and it also looks like in this kingdom there are more elderly people than young people so they also it feels like uh, they are forced to work a lot even though they are obviously like not capable of doing it anymore they are old they should be resting now so now Kuma is left alone in the church and he is using his paw again, a very big one. And what is he trying to do? He's touching it, putting his hands into it. And there is a huge impact that hurts him a lot. And like the whole church is shaking. And Jin is crying. <gasps> ah, that's how he uses his ability. Wait, maybe, maybe I should have guessed it. I'm so stupid. I kind of was so caught up in the dialogue, of course. Um, so how it works is that he's taking their pain. That is why, that is what's happening there. It's not like he just magically pushes uh, some kind of bad stuff from their bodies or something. Because I was confused. Hey, the how does that talk? Uh, he actually ports their pain to himself. So he doesn't 
necessarily even fix any medical conditions in any way he just takes the pain the experience so then they have to come back because the pain comes back again because the cause of it has not gone anywhere and he has to do it again and again and that's also because genie is trying to kind of crowd control this because if he does it every single day how is he going to handle this right so even though they are in they are not slaves anymore he's still going but now willingly going through a lot of pain that again kind of goes uh, when he was a slave it was about oh he's uh, so much stronger than like a regular person so he can uh, can um with how to say it he can handle more basically right um and it was used kind of against him but now he's doing it willingly using that body of his that can handle much more pain and suffering and stuff like that uh, to help these people but again the problem is the government is the celestial dragons this system because if there was no tribute that has to be paid uh, there would be no need for this um you know what i mean because um as they said before they are also um, trying to escape this pain so they can work and get that money for the tribute so this is like the main cause here and of course Jin is devastated by this they have no idea you are taking on any of their pain kumachi and you keep doing this week after week it can't be helped if someone doesn't shoulder their burdens their pain and suffering of theirs won't just disappear yeah he is just the most altruistic person ever what the heck oh he looks so mm, worn out it will be left to fester returning to haunt them again and again more than anything i'm just glad i can do something to help them feel happier and again this idea that kind of comes from his heritage and from nika to make people smile to make people happy that's what he wants I'm sorry for putting you through this, though. I'll get tougher, so you won't have to worry. Oh, he's worried about her, worried about him. That's not the point. Hey, we got a little food as thanks today. Let's sit up. Woohoo, dinner time. Oh, that's so sweet. So the old people, they can't really pay him, but they can share some food, and they bring some food as thanks. Oh, that's so sweet. Now we got a little bit of a time skip now we got 25 years ago when kuma was 22 so he was um, 17 and then five years has passed and now he's 22 and genie is 22 plus 4 which is 26 yes i'm very bad with mathematics okay kumachi let's get married huh? we can't what the hell is with that reaction of course we can you love me right just admit it you don't <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is kind of how this how this is called when you ask someone to marry you, like, right? Proposal. So <laughs> this is the craziest proposal, like, like hey, uh, let's get married. You love me, right? So uh, what are we waiting for? <laughs> okay. Uh, and I like how the church is moving with everything that's happening and in. That's a nice touch. Wouldn't that make you happy? he's blushing saying i'm sure it would but the thing is i don't want to make you unhappy he thinks to himself ah uh, of course remembering for example what happened to his family like his father found the woman he loved and they got a child which is kuma uh, but uh, in the end uh, his uh, wife has died and we don't even know how and what happened to her we didn't see it and he himself died and it's honestly a freaking miracle that a child has survived right so and that he got out of slavery for example so it didn't really bode well for anyone in this family so i completely understand why with um, history like this uh, Kuma feels apprehensive about any kind of like marriage, uh, even even not taking children into account, right? If he marries Jinny by himself, just being himself, he's already putting her in danger, right? She's going to be as more associated with him, right? Etc. Etc. And if they have kids, 
that kids are going to be in danger and they are going like you know you get the idea and because he remembers his um, dad's words at that horrible moment when they were apprehended just take me i'm the one with bukhanir blood my wife is normal please let her and my son go see exactly um look at this uh, now he's talking to Ginny. It's another article from those freedom fighters. They finally issued wanted posters for them after they incited riots in several regions. Dragon, he's so cool. He's like a hero. That's cute. One day I want to head out to sea and dedicate my life to saving people too. Uh, hello, is anyone home? Genia, what's with news? We had a massive haul today. Please help yourself. Okay, now these uh, men who are very into Ginny come into... Mm, keep some fish, okay. Okay, oh, we'll take it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Fishmonger, Kuma is saying. Good-heartedly. Good <laughs> uh, but Ginny is not impressed. She's calling him idiot and throwing stuff at him well i guess she is uh, she has romantic feelings for him i guess i suppose he has them too and uh, she is not impressed with him uh, not agreeing to the marriage wait that's uh, so convoluted because he thinks to himself about his reasons he didn't even like say it out loud i could assume she would know more about him and his past uh, but i think she doesn't have uh, the same doubts about this kind of union as he does so she just thinks uh, he is being unreasonable or stubborn or an idiot then 22 years ago something major happened so three more years have passed and kuma was 22 plus 3 25 <laughs> this reaction is me trying to count <laughs> um something major happened obviously something horrible is especially in the flashback in one piece flashbacks always something horrible happens the people you've kidnapped let them go save us kumachi what are you yelling about you big off are you trying to pick a fight with the royal army that's treason you know castle town the kingdom of sarbev and kuma was 25 damn it was already counted for me he is apparently a pastor from some church in the southern province so some people were kidnapped and kuma is trying to help them hey pastor didn't you hear about the new law we are allowed to do whatever we want to you southerners and um this kidnapper is called in one of the old people probably one of those that kuma was helping all the time you are planning on enslaving them kuma is asking i won't let this pass <gasps> he's a rebel Oof. yeah okay well nothing to comment on here everything is pretty like, understandable my leash this new policy the people might find it hard to swallow uh, someone is talking to that king so that king uh, the name was Bekori. Now, this is the real tyrant that is super horrible uh, to these people. And so now, I guess, to pay the royal tribute, he was like, okay, the south is so freaking poor. Like, they can't even do anything. Uh, you guys can just kidnap them and slave them. I don't fucking care. I guess that was the idea. He is saying, it is of no consequence. They'll soon grow accustomed to their new status. Before long, it won't bother them. <laughs> let's do this to you and see if it bothers you um okay they'll all come to see the sourners for the vermin they are oh my gosh okay now we see huh kingdom of sorbet okay let's read the text first from this day forward the borders of sorbet shall stop at the edge of the northern province the amount of celestial tribute is decided by a country population <gasps> okay so actually letting people starve and die in prison was a logical choice for him because it decreases the population and the tribute becomes smaller i thought he was just stupid just cruel and stupid but he's cruel and not that stupid as i thought 
uh, will no longer be weighed down by all the old fossils in the south. We must cut out this cancer so the fittest of the glorious nation can thrive. And you see, now we see um, uh, that Kingdom of Sorbet is now only the north of Kingdom uh, of the Big Island, right? And the south is lawless land, and Kuma's Church is there, and Old Falls Village is there. So it seems like most of the young generation, they are in ca gathering in Castle Town, right? And the uh, south is more like old people, and um, he just decided to kind of consider these territories not even part of the kingdom, right? It's lawless land. And now Kuma with some other people are in jail and with Jinny as well. Tell me, what made them arrest you two? Kuma is asking. We raised hell trying to get them to free you, Kumachi. Uh, Jinny is answering. But they gave us a trash in the end. Ha ha ha. And these are the men, I think, the same ones that brought her fish. Um, in the previous uh, part of the flashback, Jinya was with Muse, we had a massive hole today, help yourself. Yeah, these are the same men. So this is, I know this is sad and horrible, but this little moment is sweet. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we are going to a double page. And this is, oh no, wait, I had to hide this part of the page. Let's read this first. But I saw that already. Ginny, this, this, this revolution is coming. Okay, Ginny, this country is on the brink of becoming a cesspool of bigotry and hate. Kuma is saying that this, this is a pretty impressive frame showing his raw emotion. And Jin is answering, King Bekori is a celestial dragon puppet. This new policy was given to him from on high. So he didn't even think of it himself? No. Oh. If you plan on starting a rebellion, you'll be signing up to fight the world government as well. Who are these guys? Your Majesty, we must flee, and there is some explosion in this uh, capital, in the town, right? As if we would let you escape! And, like, this is especially cool, because they, we are already friends with Ivankov, right? We met him as kids and he was friends with Ginny and became friends with Kuma as well and now, okay, and obviously this is him talking as we can see right away from the text, right? As we would let you escape. This is what you get, you want to be Celestial Dragon and uh, Dragon is saying you make me sick. Like This, like, similarity between saying Celestial Dragon and just saying Dragon, like um, yeah, this is a bit unhelpful sometimes. The king has been overthrown. His slavery laws are no more. Thank goodness. I hated that this, what this country was becoming. And so this mysterious band saved the kingdom of Serbia from the corruption of the world government. Okay, now we see the left part of the page. Looks like the man you recommended went on quite a rampage. You are going to love him, dragon. Kuma, Ginny, I see you gonna gotten yourself caught. Lucky for you, I was in the neighborhood. No way, big bro. Is that you, Iva-chan? You are the man you and the man you are with. Isn't he, Kuma? If you are still anything like you used to be, how about coming with us and changing the world? The onset of the great pirate era and the tragedy of Ahara spurred these freedom fighters to take up arms against the corrupt regimes of the road, starting numerous insurrections. Ah, oh, yeehaw! And there's Ginny here also saying, count me in too. Oh, Kuma is already so serious. And, oh, like, they, are, they are here already. They are like, oh, oh in, in the revolutionaries, Kuma is... Um, in the clothes, looking serious, and Ginny also looking cool, and everyone is here, Dragon Ivankov, hmm, and the beautiful woman that has the same hat as uh, Sabo. It didn't take long for the two pillars of this movement to become free, as Dragon and Ivankov recruited Kuma to their cause. This organization would adopt a new name, one that echoed around the world, the Revolutionary Army! Yay! <laughs> that is really cool! Oh my gosh! Okay, but we are not done yet. We have two more pages and I was already like... <laughs> getting excited about this one. 
We are still lacking funds, for now we must act like mercenaries, supporting those who already have a will to topple their monarchs, full fueling their rebellious spirit. All our recruits get weapon training drilled into them. I want us to grow into boundless armies spread throughout the world. Where did you learn about weapons, Dragon Sun? Kuma is asking. I spent some time with the navy. Unfortunately, I found no justice there. Marine revolutionary. He is a man determined to help others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I spent some time with the navy and found no justice here. He's the okay. You can rely on me, Dragon, Kuma is saying. Oof. You won't regret joining us, Dragon answers. This is this is a nice moment. Well, I'll be. Look who is back. Oh, that, is this his church? I'll be coming home every now and then. I worry about you all. Oh, you are so sweet, Kumachio. He's visiting. And thus, er, another eight years would pass. The sun would continue to rise and set like normal until... So he was in the revolutionaries with Ginny and visiting his uh, elderly friends from the other friends from time to time and then 14 years ago a certain kingdom you look excited Ginny son mm? is that obvious can you blame me though we are so close to the day where we get to link up with Komachi's squadron I'm so happy I can hardly breathe captain of the Re revolutionary army's eastern forces Ginny she looks so cool god I love her design I love her clothes and you see she's chewing on meat just like Bonnie does right and yeah, she, she looks really good and uh, she's happy well they are I guess in different places doing their thing but she loves Kuma and she's excited to see him again Captain Kuma is that lucky dog he's won the heart of the lady we all admire I mean how can you not admire her like, she looks cute and her personality is so energetic and bubbly I think she's very lovable oh you creeps admire me gross hey I will stink <laughs> revolutionary headquarters Baltico dragon sun Ginny has been captured, disturbing news. The enemy took us by surprise. Please forgive us. Ooh, and the look at this frame before when they were just uh, talking and she was like, wait, you creeps admire me, gross. We see some legs here in the forefront and I guess this is supposed to be the moment. Someone approached them and took them by surprise. And Ginny, of course, she is the captain of the Revolutionary Army's Eastern Forces, an important figure. And she was captured. And there's no break next week, it seems. At least nothing about it is written here. So this is the end of the chapter. This was actually, gosh, I love this chapter so much. We got to see more about Kuma's backstory and get to know Ginny more. So what happened? Now. she has she has been captured uh, I can't wait to read the next chapter and then like we'll see what happens but like eight years have passed and uh, she looks so cool Kuma that lucky dog she won her heart huh wait how old this is so hard with the 14 years ago 14 years ago could this be like how old is uh, uh, Bonnie we know she's actually a kid so 40, 10 to 14, I guess, would be a good guess. But now if Ginny has just been captured, I guess she has to be recaptured. Because how is she gonna make a kid? <laughs> you know? And we know Bonnie spent time with Kuma as a little child. And uh, she's probably no older than 14 in her like real form. Uh, so she still has to be born if we consider Ginny her mom. So... It's not like she's going to be like captured and murdered and drama, right? Something is still going to happen. Uh, but overall, uh, yeah, it, it is just, I don't know, these kind of flashbacks are so cool. And seeing uh, some of these like huge big characters uh, in the past and how this was all formed. And uh, this is pretty exciting. And th that moment, well, I'm really... Loving the revolutionaries in One Piece world, you know, I, I think this is really inspiring and what they are doing. It is really like cool in my opinion. <laughs> I, I should use a bigger word, but uh, yeah, I'm not 
very good with words sometimes especially like since it's not my first language sometimes especially if i'm excited it's a bit hard <laughs> to choose the best words uh, when i'm just talking um it's of course easier if i would be writing something i have all the time on the road uh, to think on the best words but overall i thought this was a really cool chapter uh, so please uh, share your thoughts as well as your favorite moment in the comments down below that would be it for today so thank you for watching and see ya mm -hmm.